Hello, my peeps. I am running just a tad behind. <laughs> you see how much stuff's on my desk? Maybe it will make sense. Uh, and once again, I forgot to mute the computer. So. <laughs> oh, just a bit. Working on that. And trying to get Facebook comments. Now, I don't know what happened with my live yesterday because I kept watching. And in some views, you can see how many people are on, and in some views, you can't. And I was watching it and I couldn't figure out if any, like who was on. And so I had it all set up so I could see the comments, only I didn't get any comments. Oh, hello, Tamara. See, so when I hung up, or when I hung up, I keep calling it TV, but then I'll say I hung up. When I finished my live yesterday and I closed it, I, I go back in to get the video so I can post it on YouTube for those that don't Facebook. Um, and I had all these comments there of people saying, hi, hi, I'm here. So I don't know why they didn't show up yesterday. And now they show up today. And this is the part that annoyed the bejesus out of me about technology. I did the exact same thing both times. So what the heck? Okay. So <laughs> I have been playing. You can't even see the full scope on my desk. Um, I, I, I think I've mentioned this before. I got Corey to make me this desk. He custom made this desk for me to my specifications. Uh, it is the most awesome crafting desk. It is huge. It's like three feet by six feet. It has all the, hello, Dana. It has all the like, I'm like, okay, this is where I'm gonna put my card thing. So this needs to be this deep, but this is where I'm gonna put stuff sideways. So it needs to be this. So like, it was like, it is the best desk ever. But I sometimes think that maybe I shouldn't have I shouldn't have told them to bother with the, the lovely wood finish because you basically never see the lovely wood finish except for in tiny little snippets. So here's today's pro product, the Delicate Edges dies. Now these are an annual catalog. And if I was smarter, um, I would have told you like what they cost and even a number, but I didn't do that. Um, I will also mention that I, I turned off my face cam today because I want to be able to show you some details. And I think when two cameras are working, um, they both tend to go fuzzy, but because I was having issues with the with the focus yesterday. Um, I'm hoping <laughs> that that's that this will resolve that. Okay, so there they are, delicate edges dies. Uh, now these are standalone dies, so they weren't specifically tagged to a, a stamp set. Um, I did buy a lot of the standalone dies from the last catalog. There were so many good ones in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I will tell you that while well, the obvious answer is probably you're thinking Tracy bought them because of the leaves. You're almost right. I saw the leaves and went, ooh, but I bought them because of this. <laughs> and I will show you the card that I when I saw this, I saw two things. Um, and, and it was enough to make me think, oh, I'll, I'll make the rest work. I'm buying this thing. So they are called edges dies. So I'm going to tell you a few things. I'm going to show you a few things. And then I'm going to show you a couple cards. A couple, three, I think, four. I have four cards made. I have more ideas. I just didn't get to them all. <laughs> okay. So this is what I was expecting. And this is why I wanted to uh, do this. So I was expecting with the edges dies that they would all be like this. And what you will notice is on this die, all along the edge here, there's a ridge. That means it cuts. Along this side, like outside of the little lace hole thingies, a technical term, let me know if I'm getting too technical for you. The lace hole thingies, there is, um, oh, flames. <laughs> Sorry, I got totally distracted by Tamara's comment. Um, somehow I just shrunk my, I just shrunk everything. Now I don't know what the heck I did. Oh, I'm just making it worse. Um, <laughs> sorry. Me and technology, seriously. That's why I stick to paper. I really do. Okay, so I have to cover one thing. Okay, there we go. I was checking to see if the focus and something was off. And, uh, seaweed. Seaweed's one of them. Uh, what was the other one? My thing is over top. Christmas garland. Oh, Christmas garland. Hello, Laurel. Who else did I think? Is anybody else? Okay. So, squirrel. Okay, so this is what I expected they would all be. And that they would do something like this, which does not help you when I show it to you this way because you can't really see. That they would all make 
this. I gotta, get, I gotta get a contrast in color. So they would make edges like this. And that's part of too big. Too big for what I'm trying to show you. I have all these random pieces. <laughs> so let's grab a different random piece. Okay, so this is this is what I figured, right? So you put a piece of DSP, piece of cardstock, something else behind on the on the back side. Boom, you get a lovely little lace edge. So this is what I was expecting from edges. And I will admit, part of me was slightly disappointed because I wanted, I did not want them all to be like this. Some of them I like the card I envisioned with this. I thought, oh, how much of it I'm gonna have to like fussy cut to make this work? But as it turns out, this die is a true edge die and cuts like this. There we go. Relief die. Oops, is <laughs> my stuff stuck together. Um, is has a has a cutting blade or cutting edge all the way around it, so it completely cuts out. Maybe my background again. A set of leaves, which is perfect because that's what I wanted for that card that I saw with this one. Because very shortly after the first one, I saw this one. So this one fully cuts it out. Leaves. This one, Tamara is correct. I saw two things with this. The second thing I saw with seaweed, the first thing I saw, you'll have to, it's just going to keep you in suspense. So this die, and this die is fabulous. Like I, it almost, it, maybe it's because I picked this color too, but if I could make it, it's almost like corn stalks without the corn cobs on them. Um, garland, yes, you could like garland up the place. I did see seaweed <laughs> and I did envision this coming out. And I, you know, I save all my, anything to do with the ocean I, I and boats in the Navy and that I save. So I have some, and I just, I need to have more varieties. I like to have different shades and different colors, right? So, uh, thank you. And so I did see seaweed. And then this other die, <laughs> which, which is right here. And I'm gonna show you that, yes, I did do this. I, I put a piece of paper, a piece of cardstock, and I put adhesive backing on it because adhesive backing is your friend with this set of products. Um, and then I wanted to cut the flowers out, but I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of paper. So yes, I backed just the flowers. <laughs> okay, and you'll see why. Because it cuts like this. Right? And so this one, when I started seeing it, and I ran out of the time, right, or you would have it. What I envisioned with this one is making like little vines that went up the side of the card. And this one I cut too short. The dies are long enough to get, it'll cover the entire side. I just cut it too short. But I wanted to do that. And then... I would, I don't know why I try to do things one handed, it never works. And then I would pop off one of my newly cut flowers, do a little, just to, this is, this is the thing with this. I expected to do a lot more fussy cutting and I don't have to, so I'm quite impressed. So I would just cut off the little bits. Do a little bit of fussy here, 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 except adhesive backing. And then I could stick this over top of this. You could also um, put little embellishment piece or embellishment, dimensional pieces and you could pop it up. But this is what I saw. I saw little vines. And then I thought, I know they're flowers, but if you cut them in like, you know, cherry cobbler and pumpkin pie and let's see, blackberry bliss and maybe some crushed curry, and kind of did, and I was going to have three of them in like varying heights along the side of one card. Um, it would almost give a fall, and maybe not such a bright green. It would almost give a fall look, almost like leaves, even though they're not. Um, you could do them this way as well. You could garland across the top. Um, you could put holly leaves. Oh, there's just so many, so, so many options. <laughs> okay, so imagine that you're playing with all these things and you have tons of, tons of ideas, because you will. Once you start playing, you will have ideas. But there's some things you should know. Some things I'm going to help you with so you don't do the same thing I did. Um, okay, so you, this is an edge die, right? This is what you want. So I thought, well, what do the edges look like? And I'll flip this over if I cut the other pieces out. So the die I just showed you, this is what the edge looks like. So you could, I mean, there's no law. This is crafting, there's no law. You could put this down on the edge of a piece of paper and cut it out, and you get this sort of um, look. If that works for what you're doing, I see Oopa Loopa <laughs> when I see this. And I don't know if it's because they have like the curly Q hair. And then this is sort of like little bits sticking up. I have the weirdest, I have the weirdest brain. I, I, I fully admit that my brain goes to the weirdest places. And I tend to see things as like cartoons in my head, comic strips, animated movies. So yes, I see Oopa Loopas. 
but whatever, whatever you see. Um, this is the wave one. And I thought I was being so clever because I thought, well, maybe this will just give you a nice wavy edge. And so I was looking, I, I put the card like this. I didn't do the whole thing because I was just using up scraps. So I did this, right? And I was looking at this edge and I'm like, we'll just kind of give you wavy little things. Yeah, this is the edge that cut. <laughs> so, so there's another lesson for you. Pay attention. Don't, don't do what Tracy did. So yes, this is not the edge as much as I thought it was. Now there's a way to do that. When you make your, when you make your sandwich, if you put your sandwich in this way, I don't want to have to lift my whole thing up because I will knock everything off my table. Okay, let's uh, let's pretend this is a clear plate. If you if you made your sandwich and you ended your clear plate right there, it would not cut anything here, which means it would cut the leading edge of the die. So there's a way to do it. It's just not how I do it. I just didn't pay attention. So I'm telling you, pay attention. So yes, and not only did I not cut the edge I wanted, but I didn't even get a like a a solid wavy edge because this little piece was there. So I got like this notch. So I'm not sure this is what I'm going to give you the edge you want, but I'm just telling you. Now the leaf one, on the other hand, did kind of give a cool effect. And I and this is actually the first one I tried because it leads to the first card I made. Um, that's not the right way. So this is somewhere along here. This is going to match up. So this is where you cut, you cut. Um, and in this one, I did end up with the leading edge because of the way I cut the paper. But but if you took this off, this is actually not a bad, it's just kind of a ho, ho, ho. And you could fussy cut a little bit out of here and they have more of a, it's kind of a cool look. But one of the projects I was making, I'll show you why I kind of wanted a little more solid edge. But anyways, that's what they look like if you try to make the same like edge effect with the dies. The other thing I'm going to tell you before I start showing you stuff is um, I don't know if you'll be able to use your mini. If you're just cutting a strip of, like if you're just cutting one of these out of a strip of paper, you'd be able to use your mini. Because the best thing that you want to do when you put your die through, especially a die this long, is you want to turn it a little bit cockeyed. Because it, it will cut better, the die rollers will hit better. So you want to be able to do this. Now, you got a three inch wide working place. Wavy stuff in a darker green and place it in the cut like a puzzle. Oh, you just wait. You just wait, Tamara. There's a reason we uh, share a brain. Um, you have a little bit of leeway to turn it a little bit sideways, but if you're trying to do any kind of a card front or a card base, it's not going to fit in the mini. Frankly, it just barely fits for some of these things in the full size one. So what I did on the first one, I took my piece of green card stock. Let's pretend like this is a whole card. And I put my leaves here, just a minute. Love this. Look at this, the magic of television. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do, right? I was trying to cut my leafy green edge. And, and as Tamara mentioned, <laughs> I was just gonna put it right back down in place. I was just gonna have the leafy edge here. So the only way this fits, because this is just a little bit wider than the cardstock. So this is six inches. So it just fits sideways through the big chunk. But what I found was the rollers are now hitting this entire leading edge of this die, and they do not cut quite as well. Now I did kind of go back and forth, and maybe if I'd gone a couple times, it would work. But every other die in this new machine is so awesome. Every other die I've used, one roll through is enough, even with even with the adhesive sheet on the back. So this is the adhesive sheet, right? Um, and you stick it on the back of the cardstock before you put it through the die cut, and then it basically turns whatever you're making into a sticker. I didn't put it on the back of this one. So even with it, one pass generally works. Well, this is what came out. So it kind of cut some of the edges, but it, it wouldn't cut the inside. So I ran it through again. It cut a little bit better, but it still was not cutting the, like this part out very detailed. And I think it's because all the rollers are hitting this, like because as soon as I turned at the slightest angle, boom, it cut no problem. So when you're trying to make this card, and you put it through your big shot this way, it's not gonna work very well. So, and I will show you that on this one, I did the same thing. And I'm like, well, let's just let's try again with a different die. <laughs> and this one, I did try this one second because I didn't put any adhesive sheet on the back. And I thought, well, maybe if it was a little skinnier, it would work better. No, it did not. So I put the thing through this way and the first cut did not go 
all the way through. It, it cut most of it, but not all of it. So I wanted to turn it sideways, thinking, well, at least this way it'll go better. So the only way to do that was to flip the card over on itself and run it through. And as you can notice, it embossed <laughs> the back of my card base. So if you'd like that extra special effect, that's the easy, that's the only way you're gonna fit it this way. Not what I was going for. So my advice on trying to make an edge would be uh, make, use a layer. Don't try to don't try to cut the whole card base at once. Use a layer because a layer you can put through the big the big machine at an angle and not end up like this. Because here's the thing: I don't like to waste paper, but no way am I spending the time it's going to take to poke out those little pieces and fussy cut the parts where it didn't cut. Not going to happen. <laughs> Too much work. So, oh, here's the other thing I was going to tell you: if you're cutting this. This is the edge piece. I to get using my backgrounds here. This is this is the edge piece you get out of it. That's like left over from the bot, like the throwaway piece. And quite frankly, I think this is pretty cool. So you could take your little do do flicky here and cut it backwards to how you want, and end up with this very cool edge. All right. Let me see. Have I talked enough about edges and what not to do? Yes, I think I did. Um, edge piece, edge piece, edge piece. Okay, let's look at some cards. So as Tamara hinted, maybe it's a puzzle piece. And I'm, I'm, I'm saving the, the card I saw first, which is not even the fanciest of any of these cards, but it is so totally what I saw. I was like, I'm making that card. I'm buying these guys. Ta-da, puzzle. So I believe this is what Tamara's comment meant with the cut the wavy part. So this is what I did. I made a layer and I angled my die. Wait, I'm having a hard time. I angled my die and I ran it through the machine. Now there's, I had a strip, if you can see, I had just put a strip of the adhesive sheet just down the middle because I didn't want to waste the adhesive sheet. And at the time I wasn't totally sure if I was going to pop this up or not. I still think I maybe should have popped this up or maybe I should have embellished or embossed it, but I'm not totally sure yet. Because um, I was just kind of winging it. But, <laughs> but I wanted to be able to do the card and then fit this back in. So this, I definitely wanted an adhesive sheet on because otherwise, look at all those little tiny lines you have to try to glue down. So the beauty of making a card like this is I've already got the makings of the reverse. <laughs> I just have to cut another line for the middle. Um, so if I took this, I can make another card going this way because I have two pieces. So here's the trick though that I'm going to tell you for this. When you cut these pieces, and this one doesn't actually have the adhesive backing on the back of it, so I'm not going to. Oh, hello, Trina. So when you cut, this is a lot of like cardstock is cut out. So this piece is a little bit wavy. So here's what I'm going to tell you. When you want to make this card, you want to put this piece down first, right? Make your nice square corner with this piece, right? So in this case, we're going backwards, but you're going to make your nice square corner. Then you're going to take the adhesive backing off of here, and you're going to start at one end, and you're going to put this card down because you're going to, or this leaf thing, because you're going to kind of push it back in and push it in amongst this because this piece is pliable the leaf piece is pliable this piece is not because if you put the leaf down first and you and you bend the leaf like this your card's going to look like this and then you're going to be super annoyed right so put this chunk down first i just used snail on the back of it and adhered it in the corner and like i said i, I lined it up all how i wanted and then i started at the bottom and i put this back in so that it would be nice and snug. And because I could just, like I said, manipulate it because it's very bendy. And that's how I got that. Now you could do this with any one of these things, right? And yes, Tamara, you could do it in two different colors. Um, this is not totally gonna work because I just used a scrap for this, but I could, as soon as I find out where it goes, I could cut one piece, like so your two different cards could be two different ways, right? And have two different colors. Right, that would look very cool. So this was one of the cards I did see. Once I saw the leaf, I was like, ooh, down the middle. And my original thought, I will tell you, my original thought was to make this thing a bit smaller and then pull it out to the corners and have like a, a white border around the leaves. And I don't know if you can see this. Here, maybe I'll try it this way. So this was my thought, right? I'm gonna pull this back a little bit and I'm gonna put this down the middle and then I'm gonna have the other half here so that it's almost like it's outlined in white. 
but you'll notice that doesn't really work. So unless you're going to fussy cut this piece, as soon as you pull it away, it, the notches overlap. So it was a good idea. It just doesn't work. Um, so maybe if I notched out or fussy cut a little bit of this out, it would work. But in the end, I decided that I liked it right up against the edge like that anyways. So there you go. Leaves. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm going to issue a challenge for all you watching because I know how you just, you, you don't have... You don't have enough stuff to do in your day. Um, when you when you use the adhesive back sheet, you can hear me laughing because it's so funny. But um, when you use the adhesive back sheet, if you kind of give it a roll, so like before you take the back off, when it when all the pieces are still in, I find if you kind of give it a roll like this and kind of roll the other way, it will loosen all the little bits and pieces that are cut out. So then when you go to pull the piece off and you pick it up like this. Most of the little bits and pieces stay on the adhesive sheet. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Uh, where did this one come from? This was higher up, I think. Oh, 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 maybe not. So then I thought, oh my God, you could two tone these leaves. Like you could totally mosaic it. So I'd like one of you <laughs> to make a card and share your picture where you've taken every one of these little pieces and stuck it back in a different color, okay? So volunteers, because <laughs> I think it would look awesome, but I can only imagine how much time it would take. <laughs> so that's my suggestion. You could, oh, it, it, seriously, it would look so cool. Uh, anyways, here's my other thing I'm gonna tell you about these branches, because you know I'm, I love me a good sprig. <laughs> Tamara, I figured you would be the first volunteer. So these, these little sprigs in the annual catalog are awesome. They're huge. And they're heavy. I know. See, no volunteers. I don't understand. Um, I need to, oh, here we go. This is our old rolls of twine, but I'm thinking. So look at this. Like, this is a big thing, right? It's a big piece and it is heavy. So I was determined, though, I was using it. I know it would work for treat holders, but I was determined I was using it on a. Um, yes, exactly. That's why I, I can't. I can't do what you want me to do. I'm going to spend the next three days making Tracy a mosaic leaf. <laughs> um, so I put this on here and you'll notice it's tucked under because what I did was I took a piece of tear and tape and I taped down the stem and I took a glue dot and I put it underneath the top here. I just a rolled up glue dot to put it there because when I had just tear and taped the bottom, it was still very loose feeling. Oh, you don't have those dies. I'll send you the cutouts. Down. You can borrow the dies. Um, so yes, these are, these are awesome. I love this little sprig, but it is heavy and it needs a couple different places of uh, adhesive to stick to the card. So, one fact for you. What are these called? They're just called sprig trinkets. Okay, so there is my leaf version. Um, I did make a card with, these. this is the suite we used this weekend. And um, I didn't think I'd like it. Honestly, I was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna order it so I can make the same projects. But, oh my God, it's got the most amazing guys. What did I do with it? <laughs> she said. Seriously, what did I do with it? I mean, I've just barely finished this before I started. So, you know, it's somewhere on my desk. Yep. Okay. Um, it's called Splendid Thoughts. I do remember that part. It is the most amazing dies in it, though. And these big, these big graphic stamps, I absolutely love it. Um, so, like I said, I think if you're going to make the edge piece, it's much easier to make it on a layer. So, I started with my standard size layer. But when you cut it, what you end up cutting off is this piece here. So, now it's not the same. So I kind of wanted a pop of color, so I'm good with just adding a strip. But if not, make your, um, your layer, I would start with at least a quarter inch bigger on this side than you would. I wonder if you use a cling wrap, different colored cutouts. Yes, you're probably right. And darn, you're still not voluntary. Um, so yeah, make your, make your layer maybe a quarter inch bigger. Cut your edge off. And I mean, I, when I cut my edge off of my layer, because I have more of them cut, I'll show you what I mean. So this is what I started with, right? This was my layer that I started with. And I put my die down like this. And I put, I put this, right? I can't do it. I can't hold still enough. I put it right to the edge. And I put it straight, oddly enough. So all I did was line all these little points of this, whatever this thing is, medallion. Um, I just put it right against the edge and cut it off. But see, as it goes in like this, that's how much of that's how much of it it cut off. 
So when I tried to make my even, you know, around the edge, I was short. So like I said, either either make this edge a little bit longer on your on your layer, or yeah, add a pop of color. So there's one more card. Let's see. Um, <laughs> totally in the Christmas mood. Um, the other thing I wanted to do with this, and and you can <clears throat> you can only do it with this one. It's not going to work with the other dies. But I thought, what if I made two of them? So I took my piece of paper. I'm making you wait. I don't know why I'm being such a tease today. So I, I did it and I did line up the points again. I lined up the point of this medallion and the point of this medallion. So they were exactly the same. All they did on the edge. So I cut one and then I flipped it around like this. And I made sure I left enough room in the middle for my tear and tape, uh, which was probably about this much. And I cut it again, lining up the same two points. And I ended up and it worked out better than I thought. Like, I'm like, hey, I wonder if that'll work. I ended up with this very nice piece on this card. And all I had to do, I, I did a little trimming on the corner because I had like little, just like little forms and they look like sticking out. But I just wanted like a little pretty something. <laughs> this is the ring, ring something ring, tree ring something paper from so the celebration brochure. Oh my good Lord, I love this package of paper. Um, this is the pointed setter from the Ringed with Nature stamp set. And I do have the dies that just retired. And I believe I will cut next time. I will lean into my retired product that I can't part with. And I will cut off, like cut the pointed setter and leaves out of, out of cardstock. This I just stamped in fussy cuts. And then I was trying to figure out Christmas is not always, and I, I mean, not to bring the mood down. Christmas is not always like happy for everybody. So I was trying to come up with a way to make this card and put sending hugs on it. But I didn't, I didn't quite get there. I think I need to put something I haven't figured it out yet <laughs> so it doesn't quite have a sentiment but nonetheless the point of the exercise was to show you that um this one will make makes this very cool background piece that I quite like <laughs> and because I'm trying to keep this to half an hour and I have two minutes and I've already rambled on enough but seriously I went through a lot of paper there's like scraps and bits everywhere <laughs> um and I thought you know what I'm just going to tell you what worked and what didn't work and save you some trouble Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? The big reveal. Um, so when I first saw it, seriously, this is what did it. And I saw it this way and I saw waves. <laughs> and this was the first card and it instantly popped in my head, waves and the sailboat. And yep, I bought the dies so I can make this card. <laughs> and I do love it. Um, or maybe I should hold it still so we'll focus. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should have cut the circle, but in my brain, and as I've said, my brain works its own way. You know how when you look at the sun on a really hot day, the edges are kind of fuzzy? I figured if I use this die, which I, or this punch, which I love, that it would sort of give the uh, image of the punchy, <laughs> or like, you know, the, I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> I love this card. It's very bold. I think it's good for kids. I think it's good for my masculine card, but this is the whole reason I bought the dies was because I saw waves and I wanted waves from a sailboat. So there you go. Um, I do like all the other ones, I will say. Um, I do like all the other ones. And this this pastel -y, frilly card is so not Tracy, and yet I do really like it. Obviously, because I made it, right? But yeah, this was, <laughs> this was what started it all. So what did I tell you these things were called? Delicate Edges Dies. Oh, there we go. Four dies in the package, long enough to work across the entire card with like a little bit of give. I, this one I trimmed off, um, or trim off shortly. Uh, I you're gonna have so much fun. Make sure if you do not already have it that you order some of the adhesive sheet because it will save your life with these bad boys. Um, and yes, have some fun. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Demar. Thank you, Trina. <laughs> Uh, I did have a lot of fun. So th this was my idea with my whole little product on parade, right? Is I was just going to grab a product and see what happens. Um, as it turned out, this is what happened. Um, and I will tell you, I probably shouldn't. Um, I was going to work on these last night, but because I completely spaced on Wednesday being Wednesday, I ended up doing my live last night. So I did not work on them. So I started all of this um, at about quarter after 10 this morning. <laughs> So the cards came together pretty quickly. Um, 
I did have I did have ideas in my head um, of what I of what I wanted to do. So like this one was the first one I made, and I was like, yes. And then I started playing with everything else and came up with different ideas. So so there you go. I highly recommend them. They're lots of fun to play with. Thank you all for joining me on this lovely Friday afternoon. <laughs> I learned from the best. <laughs> And um, I'm very excited today because after almost three years, it's been like two, two years and eight months, I think, I am a subscription holder for Broadway Across Canada. And I believe it has been two years and eight months since the last show we saw. And I am going to see Hamilton tonight and I am stoked. I'm gonna be singing all weekend. So cannot wait. Me and three friends, are, we've been season ticket holders for years. It has been a long dry spell of Broadway. And we're starting off with a doozy, so very excited about that. Those of you, I know Trina and Tamara for sure are two of them. Go into Garth Brooks, enjoy yourself. I have seen him live a couple of times and he's phenomenal. Uh, so that's going to be fun. And uh, everybody else who's just chilling, enjoy your weekend. Chill. I will be back. Uh, let me see what I'll be back on. Well, I'll be back with different various posts, but my next live will be on Wednesday. I have fixed the... Um, the reminders in my phone so that I know it's Wednesday and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday. That's some show and tell. Thank you everybody. Have a great weekend.